Hey, what's going on, everyone? It is David Palmer, Leo King, and Rich Lop here for the Awakening Experience. We got a lot to talk about today. There's so much going on. It's beyond, it's like awakening times infinity. What's going on, Rich? How are you, bro? What's up, man? Doing a little bit better than I have been, but I, That's fucking, good. I, I think I have to just accept the fact that I'm getting old now. I mean, you know, I, I slipped a disc in my back. And I mean, it's been That's tripping. the worst. Yeah, it's been tripping me out here lately. I started growing out my beard and I see all this damn gray that I have in it. I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, no, nah, I'm not getting old. I'm all right. And then today I bent over to water one of my plants and bent back up and my back went out. I'm like, dude, I'm just getting fucking old. Okay. <laughs> Other than that though, what a, what a fucking more amazing time to get old here in these times, you know? I mean, I kind of feel bad for like some of the younger generations who are going through all this shit we're going through right now. I don't know how I would have dealt with it back when I was like in my late teens, early 20s. Because if you notice, tell me if you notice this. Take, take a look back around like 2004, 2005. Right. They had everybody and, you know, they, they, they very strategically elaborated this little plan to get people to go against the government stick it to the man you know and all the rebels and if you paid attention throughout like the past decade or so they very clandestinely got those people to let the government grab them by the balls because now right. they're the woke people who are doing everything that the government wants them to do you know and i almost fell into that <clears throat> like I, the majority of the people that i used to hang with back in the day became social justice warriors and, oh, and yeah. you know they 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 turned to all that it's like what are you doing you know and and so i don't know man i i'm i kind of worry about some of the younger generations going through this shit right now what what, what do you what do you think do you think people are going to be able to awaken gracefully i mean i think yeah i actually do i i think though what i've seen is like people who might awaken but because it becomes too much, they go into like, I guess I'll go into Twitch and be in a game, a gamer. So it kind of combines with our last episode of like VR. It almost becomes kind of like a, well, maybe I don't want, like, I don't want to be in that. I got to find a new tribe where we all kind of feel disgruntled. And it kind of feels like the gaming community is that because it's like ex porn stars to you know, people that used to be social justice warriors, they, everybody kind of goes into the gaming thing. And that's what's weird is like Microsoft owns that all now, right? Like they mm -hmm. bought Activision, which owned fucking Blizzard. And, and, and then of course, or Blizzard and Activision, Microsoft owns, which Call of Duty all the way to, you know, every Blizzard game there's ever been, World of War or Warcraft or World, whatever that is. I don't play that one. So I feel like that's what's kind of weird to me is I think it's graceful because there's people jumping to a place of the unknown to try and it's kind of a little bit like where's the victim show here yeah. and then we find something to come and do, which I don't think that's a bad thing because then maybe that's where that could happen. But at the same time, then there's people like right now, which is why I think you came up with this great idea about this show. We, I mean, we've already been talking about 2024 being this great awakening year, but this is just like the exposure levels at this point. How is the collective going to deal with them when it's like, I mean, just this week alone from the Red Cross being like, yeah, if you got that shot, you need to call before you can give blood. And then the phone call to the blood to, to the Red Cross being like, yeah, you know, if, if you had a symptom of like that, we can't take your blood. Like, so everything they, you know, or that one news anchor who just was reporting on the worldwide COVID study about the, the shot and literally, oh, I, oh, yeah, it causes this. It does this. It does this. She's like, well, you know, I, I had pericarditis uh, just this Christmas. So I'm going to start looking into this report, right? The fucking news anchor, mm -hmm. the same news anchors that, you know, for all these years were trying to say, there's no problems. And then you just have all these other massive things, which I'm sure we'll cover today that's being exposed. It's got such an extreme rate. Yeah. Maybe that they're doing it because they want people to be overloaded to almost make it not feel like it's a lot because they're like, well, there's so many other things happening. I don't know, man. I mean, it kind of feels to me like, <clears throat> like, they're, they're, like I said, I think that vibrationally and energetically, it's, it, I'm, I'm preparing myself for something similar to 2020 energetically. Yeah. I don't know if they're going to play by the exact same playbook. I doubt it, but you know, 
in 2020, if you notice, they they flipped the world upside down and put on a shit show and then started banning everybody right. that was telling you what was going on. Now I think they're going to do it kind of like reverse. Right. I think right now they're putting it all out there. And they're going to keep putting it all out there and pumping it out there and pumping it out there. And then they're going to put on another shit show, but they're not going to censor. Right. People, because they want the masses to see it. They have to see it. People are stupid. If you think, most people have a short attention span. Did you notice yeah. that over, over the past, well, forever, basically, but they, they throw some bait in the pond. You know, white cop kills a black guy and everybody's shitting their pants over it. And then two weeks later, something totally different and then they all of a sudden they forgot about the white cop killing the black guy now they're shitting their pants over this new thing you know and then they shit their pants over that for about two weeks and then they come out with something else and then they're, they've forgotten all about you know so they just jump from from you know every little thing that they drop in the pond people their attention span is so short you know so fucking four years ago people have probably already forgotten what 2020 was even like so now they're they're going to make sure that they're putting the truth out there. They're putting everything out there for everybody to see, and they have to do it again because people's attention spans are so short. Does this make sense? You see what I'm going with this? Yeah, I, I think you're right because the already 2020 alone, it was such a it, what it was was it was a red pill that most people I don't know dipped in a blue paint bucket or something, right? So it's like okay, like. Now we have to give them the red pill about the red pill, but that was dipped in blue that they intentionally do. And that's, I think, the weird part about it because it's like they can't go try and dip or escape. Unfortunately, though, some people might be doing that, right? Like suicide rates are at their highest. That's my concern about our humanity or people are afraid to have kids now. People are afraid to do like people are afraid to do like what's like the natural evolution state and also just the natural human state it's like becoming uh, a very soft society aspect like bill maher just had on this woman who wrote a book about all the um the generations and as an astrologer we talk about that like wherever your pluto is that's your generation right but the studies show that like with technology every generation gets like weaker so like the gen z generation you know when it comes to sensitivity, anxiety, all these things, that it's never been seen like it before, right? And it's because they grew up with an iPad in their face, mm -hmm. right? But like you and I, it was like, uh, we had to fucking rewind the tape <laughs> or we got our ass handed to us, you know what I mean? <laughs> and charged for like 50 bucks yeah. if it was late two weeks, like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. so uh, like we, there's no, there's no like, and then then the generation Gen X and to to the baby boomers, you know, they had TV as well, uh, but you know it was the Gen X that had the computer, right? And and so then our generation had the computer, but it was still hard for us. There's something about the Gen Z where it just like they didn't have the extra thing to get to what they needed. It's just there. So yeah. I think of it like there's a lot of awakening happening, but it's like across all spectrums you see people that are super awake it doesn't matter and then you see in all of them there's a common denominator of people that are like i don't i don't want to wake up well, yeah you know i mean i think i think the the there's a lot of people who just don't care you know because now if you've noticed you can put you can put the truth out about the covid vaccine and and you know and and uh, government conspiracies and i mean they could put it on the news and people will say i don't care whatever no big deal until it's affecting them then once something's happening that's affecting them that's when they care so that's why i say i think that they're warming us up and then they got to put on a shit show i think it's going to be something financial possibly you know i mean we know that's coming anyway yeah. but I don't know if that's going to be the big shit show of 2024, but it's going to be something that affects every fucking person, kind of like 2020 did. Then when it's affecting you, now you're going to care. Now that's when you're going to be running to the fucking, to your iPad to Google what's going on, and you're going to be watching all the people that are telling you the truth, and that's when people are really going to start coming and listening to us, you know, whenever something is actually going on out there. I agree. I just think, you know, what's crazy. If you think about 2020, that was a financial thing, right? But they did the whole health scare to people to have them not go to their job, 
to stay at their house on their own merit. Some, I know that if you're not in America, right, there was countries that went way hard, like they fucking was doing crazy shit. But in America, you, you were dumb enough to fall for it, right? Like you're a free in person. You can do whatever the fuck you want. Long story short though, is that was a financial reset, right? They pumped everybody, gave everybody money. They gave all these COVID funds. They did all this shit. And so then they propped this all up. What's going to be the next thing? Because I don't think it's just going to be, I, 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 I know it's financial, like you said, but it's like, it's like they always put something that's going to be the, like, this is why it all fell apart. Yeah. They don't want to put blame. The same thing that we're seeing right now. Oh, you know, even the FDA just finally, the head director was just grilled by the, by the Congress right after we talked last week. They knew the, the VAERS report system that, you know, people, if you have a fucking adverse event, you report. It was an avalanche. This yeah. is so it was an avalanche. <laughs> yeah. We just tried to hire people, but we didn't have enough people. So we didn't look at them all. Yeah. But they told the public for the whole time, it's safe and effective, 100%. And then they got asked, like, can you transmit COVID if you have the shot? And they're like trying to avoid it all. Mm -hmm. And then they just, come on. I, yes, you can, right? Like, boom, there you are. Like, you knew the whole time and all the documents show it. And it's like, is that a wake up? I don't know. Because it's one of those things to where maybe it is because now you have news anchors live on air today going, well, fuck. Now I know why the fuck I just had this happen to me at Christmas. Mm -hmm. Right. Or, you know, that's the scary part is like, you know, all these people that are in the naysay club, like this is, this is not a, there's no conspiracy. Nothing happened. Like, no, the studies show like everybody knows somebody who's been negatively affected or died mm -hmm. post that. Now you have it to where you have the government admitting it, the documents coming out, the Pfizer documents about shedding. Mm -hmm. They know that this technology sheds and then they were reporting guys who people who couldn't even walk into fucking stores to like a grocery store. And like, that's crazy because you know what? Not going to lie. Whenever there was super COVID life around, like people wearing masks and getting shots and shit, I fucking turned around. Like I wouldn't go into a store if I saw a line for the shot or something. I'd be like, yeah, nah, yeah. I'm good. I'll go at midnight when nobody's around. Mm hmm. And they have that in their own documents. So that thinks of the frequency aspect and the, the auric fields that we all have. That there's people that we felt something off and yeah. then others did too. And then women felt that with their menstrual cycles. Yeah, but the fact that this say. all just came out yeah. and that people are just kind of like, I think people are not, not paying attention. I think they don't know how to react. I think it's that. Shocking, but they got to do something more shocking in order for it to kind of kick that into gear. I don't know what you think, yeah, but I, yeah. I, I'm seeing a lot of like yeah. deer in the headlights about it at the moment. Well, I haven't, I haven't really had the opportunity to connect with too many people. Like, I mean, cause like for me, I don't know the 2020 played a, a, a very dramatic role in drawing a line down the middle and separating people. And one of the things, one of the things that bothered me so much about it, <clears throat> one of the awakenings that I even went through in 2020 was there were so many, there were people that I admired and looked up to that after 2020, I'm like, you're the dumbest fucking person I've ever met. Hmm, and then right. there, uh, and then other way around, there were some people that I thought were kind of idiots. And I'm like, Oh damn, you, you, you a little bit wiser than I thought you were. Right. So it like, it was a, uh, perspective shift but there's a couple of people that i won't name that you know i was close to that i really looked up to and really admired and it broke my fucking heart to see them fall for that i know it just it just you know because i don't know i'm, I'm the type that you know i always i've always struggled to find somebody to look up to i've always had a really hard time finding a positive role model so if i find somebody that i look up to like that's cool to me i want to be able to like you know have a positive role model and whatnot and there was a couple of those people who who fell into this shit. And I was like, no, dude, what are I you know. doing? And now I'm kind of hoping, like there's one person in particular that I'm kind of hoping is catching on to this. But I'm, I think that he just wouldn't even admit it from what I'm seeing so far. A lot of the people who, they're, they're, they're just kind of tucking their tail and hiding and like not wanting to admit it, not wanting to say anything. So I'm having a hard time gauging 
the awakening like one on one. I mean, you look on the computer and you look, you know, on the internet, you can see it. But as far as like one on one personal, I think the majority of the people who are going through their awakening just feel kind of stupid. And they're, they're not even saying anything. They're not admitting it. They're not like, yeah, you're right. Sorry. You know what I'm saying? Are you getting any I, I, I feel this. I mean, I, you know, I mean, maybe I'll be, I'm more direct, but you know, it's like 96 to 97% of the astrologers went for that whole bullshit. And even some of them are using horoscopes like Virgo. This is a great week to go get the shot. Oh shit. I'm not even kidding. Right. So for me, it's, you know, I, I just did a panel conscious life expo. Like I, like I, I, I was just on a radio show last week. Like I will put it out there and I do it in a way that is like, here's questions. And then let's see who's going to respond and answer instead of the pushback. But the pushback is not there anymore. Now it's like the, wow, I guess you just don't have the courage. You don't have the courage to at least be like, I'm not trying to find that you were wrong and I was right or anything like that. But it's just like, how are we going to do this collective awakening? How are we going to help humanity when you have a whole portion of humanity that can't even see that they were duped and admit it? It's okay. Cause I get it. Like there's a wound there. There's a maybe, I don't know, maybe shame, maybe guilt, or it just could be embarrassment, but none of us are going to feel like negatively. If anything, it's more like, just trying to get on the same team. This isn't about who's on the right team as far as debate wise goes. It's about no. So we can all make a better humanity and get all rid of all this shit. So this shit don't happen in our lives. We don't live in a reality. We don't live in a world that's like this anymore, but we can't do that when people just don't want to see it and they just want to play. No, I, I looked at Reuters fact check. You know what I mean? Like, like really? Like that's where you, you didn't, you, you don't do any investigation yourself in life. I mean, that, that kind of feels like the normal road of life that just doesn't work anymore. Like I go to school and then, you know, I, this was the job interview. So I took it instead of like, let me like see what this reality is like. Let me see this yeah. world. Let me go, let me go see if this is a good person or not in life. Oh, no, they weren't. You know, you have to like trial and error in life. You have to experience life. And I feel like I don't know. People don't like the awakening experience enough again. Maybe it's, maybe it's, and I don't think that the Gen Z's are just soft because I see really soft baby boomers. I see really soft Gen yeah. Xers. I see really soft uh, millennials. I don't even like us being called millennials. It used to be Gen Y. Yeah, For yeah. some reason they got rid of us because I think the Gen Y's are the most special, like unique ones. Us that were born in the, 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 the early to mid eighties, yeah, right? Yeah. Cause like we had the real major shift and you know, the book 1984, that that's exactly when we were born in that time period right yeah. there when it all fucking shifted to this world. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and I, I noticed there's a lot of people in our age group that are the ones that are doing this the most. If you mm -hmm. actually look at all the podcasts, you look at all the shows, it's our fucking years, like in 1984 through 88, like those years and even then 80, 1982. So it's like those six years, which is that Gen Y that they totally got rid of and called and lumped us in with people born in 2000. And I'm like, what? Yeah. Yeah. Like, it doesn't make weird. sense, but you know, yeah, I don't know. I mean, cause we, we were, we kind of came up We're I think we're the only generation that has like that mix where before us it's Gen X. They, they pretty much their childhood is like sticks and stones. You know, they parents locked them out of the house and they just had to go fucking play with sticks to, you right. know, they, they didn't have, but we, I, I remember growing up, I kind of had like a, a little bit of both. Like we definitely played outside yes. and built ramps and ramped our bikes and, right. you know, did all that shit. But then the computers kind of started coming out. And then we right. had, when I got a little bit older, we had a computer in the house. And then when I was a teenager, we had AOL instant messenger. Right. And then, exactly. So we, we, we kind of had like, we watched the DVD player come out. Yeah. We, we, <laughs> we shifted into, we got to see from the shift from the, the, old world into this one and i think that gives us a little bit better of a perspective because like for my, for the awakening for me though like i can remember and I, i'll never forget this this was back in 2016 now back then i didn't know anything about anything political i didn't have a political preference i didn't even know who donald trump was right i never even heard of the dude <clears throat> i just kept hearing that there's this angry racist white guy who's running for president named donald trump and it's all over the news and at the time i'm like oh, okay well i guess i guess it's true i didn't think anything of it 
And and then I, I was at a point in life where... I mean, you're from the South, so you're kind of <laughs> used to about hearing that. Yeah. And I, I was at a point in my life where I didn't... I, I was living in a little economy studio. I was living in a weird end of town with nothing to do and no one to talk to. And I, I, it was kind of like a little hotel room with a kitchen that I was living in. And I only had a few TV channels and that fucking debate was on. And I was like, okay, well, let's just see what this is all about. I've never watched anything like this before in my life. So I'm going to watch the angry, racist, white guy debate Hillary Clinton. And then I'm watching it, and I'm like, what the fuck? They are totally backing this dude into a wall and bullying the fuck out of him. And, like, I saw that myself. And it, what really got me, though, was when, was when Hillary Clinton was trying to come down on him for saying something about grabbing women by the pussy. And I'm like, wait a minute, hold up, hold up. You've got to be divorced from Bill Clinton then. If, 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 right. if you're talking this kind of shit, you, you and Bill Clinton must be divorced. So I whipped out Google. You're still married to the dude that got his dick sucked in the fucking White House? Uh, and, 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 and used a cigar. And used a cigar. On her, and and, uh, and yeah, you're right. <laughs> going to talk shit about him wanting to grab a woman by the pussy? Uh, and, and by the way, the same president who went on national TV, I did not have sexual yeah. relations with that woman. Yeah. And, and did, and everybody cheered it and everybody's like, yeah. And then fuck it. I apologize. For, yeah, like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. That, after seeing that, that's when, like I said, I had no preference. I didn't know anything about gov government conspiracies. Didn't know anything about anything. When I saw that, I was like, something's fucking wrong here. And that's what popped my eyes open. I saw it myself. That something's wrong. Something's off. There's something seriously weird going on here, you know? And it just blew my mind from that point. I would scroll through social media and just be in awe at all of the people who just believe everything the news tells them. Yeah. I'm like, you can't see this for yourself? Right. I don't even care what political party you identify with. You don't see this yourself? So I've been kind of perplexed for the past several years how to, to help people understand how to awaken and see the bigger picture of what's going on here, you know? Right. So I don't know. So here we are trying to do it this way, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I like that you brought up like how Gen X, we, I call us the bridging generation because we are the bridges. Like we, we know what a rotary phone is. We know what... Yeah having a phone line busy is we we know we called 411 we had to call 1-800 what was it movie for the movie phone guy to get like 1-800 fucking movie phone or whatever remember something to, like it to get the times of movies yeah yeah we had to fucking have pagers mm -hmm. we we had to tape record the radio before the cd came out like we, we had to go outside because sure the computers were around, but they wouldn't last long before you broke it. And, and then you were like, fuck this. Okay. Let me go outside. Cause mm -hmm. it was blue screen. Like we waited a day for an MP3 to download on fucking Napster and then burn it to a CD. So it was like an all, all day to two day event to, to make one CD with 13 songs was like a fucking week event. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? It wasn't like, like, and to have that was like gold, mm -hmm. you know? And, and we had to work for things. We had to go, you know, when I got out of high school, I was like, I have no fucking idea what I'm going to do. And everybody was like, I'm going to college because that's what everybody says. To do. I'm like, I'm not. I don't want to go to college. And that was looked at as so bad. You know, nowadays, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I'm in that, but I don't, I, I feel like people are kind of still doing it. But like, that's the whole thing. Like the student loan thing. I would another awakening experience would be like you today. It just came out that Biden's canceling the $1.2 billion student loans that he was going to write off. Right. Cause it, it was illegal anyway, but like all these people fell for that. Like, Oh yeah. Like, how are you, how are you not waking up from that already? Like yeah. you just were lied to in the biggest way. That is the biggest liar in the room. When somebody's saying, yeah, if you have a student loan, I'm going to pay it all off and tell you that for three years and then be like, no, nah, I can't <laughs> like what? But we didn't have, we didn't, we, you know, to go the awakening experience in our generation was definitely a choice. We were also, you know, I don't know if people know this, but the first DVD, one of them, was the matrix. It was the same time the DVD player came out. And I remember, 
you know, my family, we didn't have a lot of money. So a DVD player at the time was like 399 bucks for it. It was called Conca. It was like some Korean brand that we bought at fucking, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because we couldn't afford a thousand dollars for a DVD player when they first came out. But you know, we did the $399 one. And when we went, it was like, well, pick one DVD. Cause they were like 29 bucks. And it was the matrix that just came out. And I'm like matrix. And I just think that's kind of like a weird, Co not coincidence, but like a, an awakening experience itself. We, we really got to be able to go on the internet and spend two days to try and find something. Not only because of the speed, but also whether it was to download a file and then once like LimeWire came out or even fucking Pirate Bay and like have <laughs> other people seeding, right? And make sure there was like, oh, there's 14 people of this file. Fucking yeah. at least this won't take a day. It'll take half a day. Or man, only one person has it. I got to peer share that way. Like we had to go through true awakening shit. And then we went through nine 11. Like we got to witness that as coming into our adulthood, like in our teenage years, like, and, and see how people reacted about it. See, see like how people started questioning it. Like this is not new, this idea of conspiracy. I don't even like the word conspiracy because the, the real truth to me is that the whole world's been a conspiracy yeah. and the awakened ones are not conspiracy theorists. Yeah. We are trying to show that this is a conspiracy. So I feel like the conspiracy theorists are the ones thinking that there's a conspiracy, that, that there's no conspiracy. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. It's wild. That's why I say, I think it, like I was saying, like you, when you were showing me in there earlier about all the shit they can do with AI now. I'm sitting here the whole time thinking that's not that's not new. I don't think that's new. I think they're just now giving it to us. Like I've I've heard many many tell that for example, this is nothing new. Supposedly right. they've had this shit since the fifties. You know they have technologies out there that would blow your fucking mind. That they just drip it out to us when they want us to have it when they deem right. it appropriate. Yep. So like I, I made that reference to that Will Smith video where he's like, yo, I'm here on the beach or whatever. <laughs> and he's like, oh, actually I'm not on the beach. And then this is a blue screen, but that's not even a blue screen. That's a green screen, something, something. And then at the end of it, and I'm paraphrasing it, he says something like it's 2019 y'all, nothing's real. So I'm seeing this shit that they're able to do with the Wi-Fi now, like making, or I'm sorry, with the, the, the AI now where they're able to make these fucking amazing real looking videos. And I'm I like, know. I think they've been doing that this whole damn time. Guaranteed. You know, <laughs> I was just showing you that they fucking are the new Sona that's coming out from open AI that anybody's gonna be able to use. They literally are like, make me a scene during the California gold rush in a movie scene. And so it takes some ideas of pictures and then recreates it as if it's real and has the miners and shit walking around and does it as if it's a fucking drone fucking cinema camera going through the gold rush. Mm -hmm. You would never know. Or then it was one where it was like inputting, what is a cup or what does a family look like in Zimbabwe or I forgot which country in Africa yeah. in 2059. And shows the family as if they're outside in a patio and how the landscape of Africa has like all these city skyline and all this shit with the sun coming down. And it's like a party in 2059. I'm like, as if they're real people when we know they're not, they're not real people. Right. Yeah, like, yeah. It's like, so, and it looks, it looks like a commercial on TV that you would see like, yeah, like fucking get fucking, I don't know if I could go get some new ED medicine. Mm hmm. You know, and the dad's happy because he got to fucking finally stick it to mom after 15 years. <laughs> yeah, that's why I think all, all these little <laughs> these little glitches people catch, like when you when you put up that that video of Biden, it was obviously green screen. I know. I think they're doing that shit on purpose. Perfect example, fucking Terminator Two. Look at yeah. Terminator Two. Look at the graphics. I know. They were able to make that look so fucking real in 1991. So why, if they could do that back in 1991, why would they be so sloppy with Joe Biden in 2024? They wouldn't. They wouldn't do it on purpose. They're, I, mean, I mean, they wouldn't do it by accident. They're doing it on purpose, I think. Does that, does that make no, sense? It, I, the only thing that makes sense is it's a theater and it's a show. And I think that's what the Awakening Experience is going to bring is like, people's faces when they realize it wasn't real 
Like it wasn't real. Like it was a, it was a TV show using fake AI. Also there's been body doubles like with masks, but also like if you're going to use Terminator two as a reference, right? Like even Arnold Schwarzenegger, you can see in the scenes when he's on the fucking hog and he's fucking jumping into the fucking sewer where John Connor's on his little fucking like 50 fucking CC fucking motorbike, fucking yeah. Honda, fucking that it's a fucking body. It's his stunt double. You know, yeah. you can see that they look very similar. You see the sunglasses, but it like, you know, most people still to this day don't even realize that's a stunt double, you know? Right. So now we're in a reality where they're throwing massive stunt devils as AI shit or the AI technology. So great. Now, like you could just right now, I on a live stream if I had that, but they don't offer that even to me as a media corp right now to buy where you could project somebody else's face on me and I could totally act, be like them, change mm -hmm. the voice and you would never know. Yeah. So I, to me, everything that, because it doesn't make sense, the only common sense thing would be that it, it's not common sense that's, that's happening. And that human beings are pretty dumb, but <laughs> they're really smart too. That it's beyond pretty dumb that it would mean that it's not even human, right? And, I, and, and I'm not trying to get like it's alien because that's also a huge possibility, but it has to be coordinated stupidity because it doesn't like... Because it doesn't make that like, like uh, I believe humanity has a little bit more common sense than what's happening, right? Like it just makes zero sense. And that's where the whole thing is hard because everything that we see to verify it yourself, it's never as extreme when you go verify it. Or if you know, an investigative journalist goes and ver verifies it, it's kind of extreme, but it's never as holy shit, right? Like when they were like showing bodies of everybody dying from COVID in other countries and then the, the videos came out that they were body doubles or smoking cigarettes. Like, can <laughs> give me back my, you know, like, like that's like more of what it really is. And then you kind of sit back and you're just like, yeah, I don't know why everybody's tripping. Or like, you know, when they always said the hospitals around the country, do you know that would be impossible for every hospital to be over 80% capacity? Okay. The, when I went to the hospital, I cut my fucking finger my, my thumb and I had to get stitches and I did not want to go. And, and, and it wasn't because I knew there'd be people there. I just was like, fuck, I don't want to have to go to the hospital. I'm that way. No matter what, right? I go, there was nobody, not one person in the whole Huntington beach hospital this is a fucking 400,000 people city, right? Literally. I, I asked the doctor, I asked the two nurses, where is everyone? They say this is supposed to be, there's been nobody. Everybody's afraid to come here. I'm like, and that was when I was just like, okay, so I went myself and now it's like, you know, you're telling everybody that everybody's at the hospital dying. Like there, nobody was there. So I, I like the, everything that people fall for and get lost in, it feels like it's more than a distraction. It feels like an energy harvest, like a frequency harvest. Yeah. And, and that might trip people out because there's nefarious parts of that. But I also think it's a manifestation like technique that there's some group using mm -hmm. as if they take a bunch of the world now, not just collect it, but the world to focus on giving energy where there's nothing there. Right? So if like, there's no frequency match, because if it's not a frequency, sure, that's a frequency, but it's a frequency that doesn't deliver. Cause if it's not real, that's why I think people are feeling so lost because they're putting energy. Like I always laugh because I have a fuck Biden sticker, but I always laugh because I, I, I tell people I'm like AI Biden, you know, like I'm like, I'm like, I think it's just hilarious because, because so I'm not like losing my mind or I, I'm like, I can't believe how does Biden sleep at night? Because I'm like, he's not <laughs> right. But if somebody were to be putting their frequency so intense into Trump or into fucking Biden and losing their minds, it's almost like the greatest show in weird harvest on earth because there's no frequency to come back because there's no truth to it. Yeah. Cause I even believe there's a lot of the Trump stuff. That's not true too. Like of him and what's going on. There's some stuff where he's got somebody's wearing a mask for him. There's been some weird stuff where, I mean, that guy looks different all the time. I was just telling you, like he just did a, an interview on Fox. I'm like, he looks great. Yeah. And then there's like a week ago, he looked like fucking hell. You know what I mean? Look at that. Oh, fuck. You know, so I'm like, and yeah. then there was a picture of him in a girdle that just came out. I think you can see his girdle. 
<laughs> right? And then on another show, he doesn't look, you know, so I'm like, okay, mm-hmm. so there's a lot of weird stuff about that. There's a weird stuff about how he's carrying the nuclear codes as he's leaving the White House, which they always said he wouldn't leave. But then he takes Marine One and then he goes to Air Force One and takes that fucking to Mar a Lago. Yeah. Like that's never happened before. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, they're, 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 if, if you've paid attention, of course, you kind of have to dig, you know, and I, like I said, I'm picky who I listen to in the truth community, but there's this one lady who channels and i'm really really critical when it comes to channelers like i'll just be honest with you most of them i don't believe i think they're full of shit most of them but there was this one lady named michelle fielding and 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 if i'll sit back and watch you and then i'll observe you for months every little thing she predicted came true she predicted like eight months before that Facebook was going to rebrand to Meta. Like, she predicted that. She predicted all kinds of shit from these channelings that she does. And I'm like, whoa, this chick is fucking legit. And um, she said something to the effect, and this was back in, like, 2021, that we were going to come to a phase. Now, I'm paraphrasing, and I'm not quoting it. But it was something like, we're going to come to a phase, and I forget the name that she gave it, where there's two presidents and I, and right now, that's that's the phase that we're in right now. Joe Biden is the president of the bankrupt United States Corporation. And Donald Trump is the president of the Constitutional Republic of the United States of America. And he has been this whole time. He's, he's the real commander in chief of the military and has been this whole time. So it's all this big movie that's that's going on right now where there's these two presidents and he's kind of like hanging back and not saying much, not revealing much. But he's he I think I think I, I, now I'm not the type of person that thinks that the president controls everything, you know, right? That like every little thing that I happens agree. is based on the president. But whoever this team is of people that's controlling everything is it's going to it's a very controlled demolition in such a way that that the old world and the old system is going to collapse, but the people are going to understand what's happening while it's happening. Does that make sense? Yeah. I mean, that describes, I feel the last three, four years have been, I think it's even crazier because, you know, some people might be like, that's just crazy. But I mean, if you look at even just a picture that just came out of Trump, like this week in Mar-a-Lago, like if you look at his office in Mar-a-Lago, he redid it like the Oval Office. Like he's got the fucking same flags. He's got the fucking phone he's got a fucking desk i don't know if he took any of the presidential desks it's too hard to tell but he always and of course his secret service are there but all presidents have secret service former presidents but it is really telling or weird because he kind of doesn't do it a lot and he doesn't talk about it but he just puts the pictures up yeah and so it makes you think and then that's the other thing is in every biden video you don't see like even if the press are asking him questions you don't see the press asking him the question you see a cut of it and then you see the cut back to biden always alone in his video is all looks like a 1997 webcam on him Mm -hmm. so you know to me it's kind of like it would make sense because it would be like the kind of like um whether it's secrets, you know, all the, all the people in the press, if you go to the white house, like, and you're, if you're going to be in the press core, like you're going to have to have secret clearance. Cause you could overhear, you know, a military commander on air force one or show up in the white house and you can't report on certain things. Right. So, so that means if they tell them like, you're not allowed to tell people that you're just talking to a screen, that this is Biden and it might not even have his face, but it's his voice. They wouldn't have to report that to the public because they sign a secret, you know, okay? So, like, that's what's weird to me is, like, these, these, these poor White House reporters can't give away the truth fully, right, by law. You never see them directly with the same video of Biden asking him the questions. Or you see his hand going through the fucking microphones. Mm-hmm. I mean, so, you know, or even the White House lawn stuff always looks so weird. It looks like the video's old. It looks like, like it's 2023, 2024, 2022, 2021. And it's the worst footage I've ever, like, what, what what's up with that? So I, the, the, we're at where it all is. 
to me, it just, it feels like a show, but I think that there comes some really weird questions on the awakening aspect is like, do, do all ancient civilizations reach this? Like when you look at Egypt and you see that there's obviously a fucking, whether it's a plane or a spaceship and some sort of, you know, God-like figure or in Mayan culture, like, are we at that place in our culture and society that's kind of at that weird awakening experience on a really extreme level? To where is it is that is that kind of what happens is like we get to like this place where it all looks weird i mean it, it does remind me of the movie they live where you have to put the glasses on and you see that this alien species is in control and they have this fucking crazy tv station that they're fucking emitting it all and that's what they have to go do is try and take that out and once they blow up the fucking antenna people wake up right like that's a great movie i feel like we're in that right now yeah. You know, yeah. especially because that's the weird thing is last year in 2023, they're telling us that there's UFOs and they're telling us that there's UAPs. And then they're telling us that there's non-human entity bodies that they've had. And then all these people are whistleblowing and coming out, but don't worry. We're going to give you all that information soon. And this is public. Everybody's heard it. The fact that we're just, we're in a society right now. That's just like, eh, eh, or oh, the government lied to you, this shot they knew, and then the FDA fucking director is literally lying to you and then get, has to correct himself because he knows he's under oath and he'll, he can't create do perjury under oath. So, so then he's admitting it finally, and then you have all this shit. Like Red Cross is like, yeah, if you were vaccinated, you need to call before you can donate blood. You just can't get a pass to donate blood like without having to go through a questionnaire. Why? I thought it was about the unvaccinated and how unvaccinated is so bad and all this crazy. Like, these wake-ups are massive. And the fact that people are very... The fact that people responded to Black Lives Matter more than this shit or to any other social justice warrior idea that's going on or that, you know, that's the shit that blows my mind. That nobody's wanting to fucking, you know, where's the TV antenna? Then we need to go fucking storm. You know, where's the quantum computer that's fucking doing the algorithms to tell some group that's using the AI to create the show. It's not humans. It's when, once you've turned AI on, you have all our metadata. So obviously, you know, every conversation we've had, every picture we like, every Google search we've ever made, every video we've ever watched. And then when you just do the algorithm of a quantum computer to be able to compute that in 20 seconds, whatever question you want, like what is all males in America that happen to be of this ethnicity really upset about and just go 20 seconds, boom. What would be your way to disrupt them in the worst way with that? Okay. Can you make that into a video for me? There you go. That's what we're dealing with. Yeah. And for some reason, they want to do it really slow, too. <clears throat> they want to wake everybody up really slow. So, yeah. I don't know. I, I don't, I don't, you know what I'm actually thinking, though? Like I said a minute ago, you know, obviously it's going to be something financial, but I, I really think I'm glad you kind of opened the door for the, the alien thing because I'm waiting on that. That's the big thing I'm waiting on. Yeah. <clears throat> of course, the financial reset is going to happen. The next two years, you're going to financial reset. But like you said a minute ago, how? I think it's going to have something to do with aliens. Yeah. Because, you know, the whole playbook was we're going to shut down the world's economy for a global financial reset. We're going to use a virus vaccine, 5G, riots, and an alien invasion. Well, they've done all the first four, right? but not the alien invasion. They've been tickling us with it. You know, I'm waiting to see the fucking ships up in the sky. Or I know. Well, and Pluto's in Aquarius, so we're all being tickled by aliens, literally. <laughs> you know? So, but, but that's, you know, that's where the astrology kind of kicks in, like, well, we fucking are here now. So where the astrology's like, yeah, that last thing, that shit's going to come down. It's going to be whether or not it's, you know, we talked about Project Bluebeam on an episode and so forth, but that's what's kind of creepy about it is, uh, uh, you know, who's, who's using it for the right ways, which, which stuff is fake, which stuff is real. I think that's where spirituality and, you know, ancient studies, we're just looking at, you know, you're going to be able to tell the frequency match that's connected to our ancient roots 
And you're going to be able to tell the stuff that is not. I think that's where intuition and understanding, especially manifestation or understanding to read frequencies that feel that are in a line in your life are going to be your way through this instead of some sort of savior. You know, that's, that's like part of the other thing too, is the religious thing has become really kind of crazy in my opinion, just because you have a lot of people that were into spirituality and doing great work and calling themselves light workers and doing this work feel like that they are the devil now. And then, you know, like I've never, I, I saw five people in the same line of work that all got baptized in the last couple of weeks and they put it out there and they changed their whole Instagram. They changed their whole YouTube about it. But five then it's always people. five. It's like happening. It's like an ep, that's an epidemic in itself. In, the, in this community? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even the tarot readers too. Oh shit. Yeah. I have no clue who's doing what in this community, honestly. I don't know. I have no idea. I mean, people ask me, have you heard of this such and such a tarot reader? I'm like, no. Oh, have you seen how this person does it? I'm like, no. But I, I keep hearing tale. Like somebody emailed Leah saying something like Rich and somebody else are the only two people that I can listen to and gave some examples of some other people out there who were just, I don't even want to repeat some of the shit that apparently they're saying in their tarot readings, but kind of it, like I put up a video uh, about a week ago. I don't know if you saw it or not. About a week ago. About a, about a week ago. <laughs> and, and I was talking specifically about like how honestly I, I feel guilty because I'm embarrassed to be known as a tarot reader because mm, yeah, there, saw are, that one. there are so many people out there that give us such a horrible fucking name, you know? And, and that's why I just don't even look at it. I don't know. I don't know who's doing what in this community. I, I stopped looking at it. Because it just it the more I would look at all of the tarot readers out there and and the people in the spiritual and conscious community, I would pick out a couple of cool ones and then. But it seemed like the majority of them just made me embarrassed to even be part of that community. You know? Do, do you do you see where I'm coming from on that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, a bunch of astrologers have been killed in the name of astrology in time. But yeah, no, I mean, I yeah, I mean, I. It's, it's, because I've been doing it so long, everything from when I used to date, like moms of the girls being like, or, and their dad, like, oh, he's probably a devil worshiper. Mm. Or if they were not religious, they were atheists or something like, he's probably schizophrenic, you know? Yeah. Or, you know, just dealing with people, like people used to not be into this shit. And then now it becomes kind of a trend, but I think the people who follow the trend, they do it and then it makes them feel good for a second, maybe because they get some attention on TikTok or something. But then when they actually go in the real world, and I think that this is part of the spiritual test right now is to keep your original self. It's not about jumping on a bandwagon. Yeah. Cause I think, sure, there's the bandwagons in this space, but it's small compared to the bandwagons of, oh my God, it's the end of the world right now. And revelations is happening. And fucking Jesus is going to fly out of a, what? A spaceship with a Pfizer flag <laughs> and a Kansas city Jersey on. And be like, I've returned. Yeah. Right. And so, like, the, 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 that's the, I think, hard part is like, this is a test of keeping your original self and not being afraid. Like, there's nothing to be afraid of to be who you really are and to do what feels like it's uplifting and positive and good. Like, like it, that's the crazy part is like, it's the determination of what is good or gooder or what is better, like, of that and what is eternally better. When written really, it's like the universe is not a, a, a black holes are the only thing in space that just suck you in to one place and it takes all the gravity in. And that's a black hole. It's dark matter that sucks everything in. And that's what religion is, right? No, you not. It's not, Muhammad only, ah, you know, like shit. And if you go anywhere else and you're not coming in this space, well, that's the asshole of the universe is every black hole. <laughs> that's what I always call it. So, you know, it's like, it's like the, the universe is so beautiful and expanding that you, you, you can expand through Christ. You can expand through Muhammad. You can expand through astrology, tarot, anything that's from the positive and the good. But when people start using, especially when you use the rebound effect now or a mirrored effect that this is a show we're watching, that you're making it, determination to jump off your original ship to go to a place that's built upon taking people in always that were like, 
I know, child, you know, I know that you were with the devil, like, and now you're not, right? I don't know what number you are on the list of being molested by the Pope or what are the Pope's cardinals or what are the... <laughs> but don't you worry about that because everybody's relieved of their sins at the end of the day <laughs> if you're with us only. So that, that's where I think that's, that's, gonna, that's the curveball that's continuing to happen because when the alien thing comes out, that's going to be where we're going to be dealing with one, is it real? So there's going to be people that are not religious going to be like, okay, let's make sure let's have some good verifications. And it's not going to be a one day thing for sure. But then you're going to have the religious people are going to be like, nope, it's not for sure real. It's only, it's not Jesus. It doesn't look like Jesus. It, 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 he didn't come down. Like where's his long hair? Why is, you know, doesn't he have stigmata? Doesn't he have holes in his hands and down in his ankles? Like, wasn't he wearing fucking just like a little fucking, I don't know, blanket that somebody wrapped for him. I mean, like, where's that? Where's his 12 disciples? Where's, you know, and, and th that, that becomes like, or it's not Muhammad. Well, what is Muhammad supposed to look like? What is, what is that? Or it's the Elohim. If they're, you're Jewish, like, is it one or two gods or multiple gods? That's yeah. always the debate in that religion. <laughs> Or in China, well, of course, they're going to be like, well, it's not President Xi because it's communist. You know, there's no religion <laughs> out there. So that's why they just celebrate Chinese New Year with astrology, Chinese astrology. It's like, well, it's not the dragon. It's not a wood dragon. So when you kind of look at it from that place, it's kind of like, man, that's going to be where that's going to. I think that's the overreaching um, greatest illusion or the greatest show. You know, it feels good when you walk into a cathedral because the original ones were actually built by Templar Knights who were using this kind of divine matrix code for frequency match, for music, frequency match, and the gridding of the understanding of these places to do the original divine work. Mm -hmm. They stopped building cathedrals in the 1200s like that. The Knights Templar were gone by 1307. So everything past that is really just... Show and dance, Disneyland plastered fucking castles. Yeah. You know? But, I mean, even before that, I, I personally believe, I know I've beat this drum a few times, but some of the most important information that's coming out now is the, the work that Billy Carson started doing. I've been noticing more and more people talking about this, like the truth about the ancient texts. Yeah. And, and what all that shit that's written in the Bible and in the Quran where it really came from yeah like, and and all this that's the, being the exposed. roots of it for real yeah, the, what who fucking the gods really were and enki and enlil you yeah. know who were god and satan and this and that and telling the the, the, the real truth because i've been wondering since i was a little kid i was i was raised real hardcore christian so when i was a kid i was a christian and it's kind of it kind of bothers me because sometimes i'll even find myself to this day subconsciously if I fall like into some kind of a panic attack or something like that, my subconscious mind will still want to pray to Jesus, right? Because I was that programmed as a kid. Like I'll even like if I find myself going through a panic attack, oh Jesus, and I'm like, well, what the fuck am I praying to Jesus for? Like even to this day, right? So so, but I can remember thinking when I was younger, like who wrote this shit? Where did it come from? Why did all this shit only happen a long time ago? And I can remember asking these questions, and that's why I'd like to hear the teachings that Billy Carson is coming out with now and seeing that it's really starting to, to catch. I think that's going to be the next big awakening movement <clears throat> that shatters religion. Because religion, when it all comes down to it, when it comes down to the fucking the fabric that weaves this whole illusion together, like, like religion is, you know, that's at the root of it all. I was going to say it's the root of the wart. Yeah. But it's even weirder because I love that you bring that up because even Billy Carson shows like about the slavery stuff in all the religions, right? Yeah. Like, oh, but if you no, don't worry about your slaves. Yeah, like don't worry about it. Or I think it's even weirder because it's like, you know, that subconscious you were talking about, right? It's like, fucking, I go through that too because I was raised Christian and I used to go to youth group and I used to do that. But it's like, why did Veggie Tales not teach me more in youth group? <laughs> Like youth group was just a place to, for parents to throw kids on a Wednesday night 
And have them watch Veggie Tales. That's so weird. Like if you think about it, like okay, like all right, and like it, and like then the the youth pastors were always just like, I'm doing this. Be, it, it's like so indoctrination into that might not be the Catholic Church, but it just it could be a Presbyterian church or whatever, right? It's like, well, I'm doing this so I can, you know, because I want to be the main fucking. I want to be the main pastor here, you know. So I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do what I gotta do. I gotta be the youth pastor first. You know, I, I have to, and if I don't, then you know, and I'm going to work with the music, and I'm going to, you know, I'm, 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 the, I'm gonna, I want to be the choir singer, I want to be the singer, you know, too, and then like, I, I, let me work it up, and then, oh, but you know, I'm competing because the the head pastor's son wants to do this too, and I got to outdo him. So then, you know, nobody talks about that kind of dynamic. Like, there's always those things behind the scenes, and then when people ask questions, it's kind of like, well, I don't have the answer, so I don't want to investigate it for you. I just have to go with what, you know, by the letter of this book, which unfortunately that book has been redone so many times that, and the same thing goes with the, what's happening in Islam, right? It's like with the, this looking at Muhammad from, okay, is the descendant of his bloodline, which is really weird through like, you know, not even true bloodline, but through marriage, like, and that's where you get like the Iranian, Iranian version of it, right? When you get to this like Shia and the Shiites, right? Like there's, there's two different versions of it that look at, you know, Muhammad being, it's not Jesus, remember that, it's Muhammad, that's the savior, right? So it's like, and then the form of that and the different religions and a whole identity of a whole country based off the most smallest version of that religion, which is Iran. Right. So you get that, or you get like a small country like Israel and their whole religion is based off being Judaism. Right. And so it's just based upon that. And so then when people talk about this conflict right now, it's like, okay, well, we're dealing with, I will obviously the Palestinians are connected to the Hamas, which is connected to the Hezbollah, which is connected to everybody in Yemen right now that are all connected to the money and the influence and the power of the Iranian government. So it's really the Shia Muslims against the Jews right now. And people want to say it's about human rights. I agree, but it's a, it's deeper than that. Everything's, you got to look deeper. It's about these religions fighting over the land, because if you go to the deep parts of Judaism, it comes to the Elohim where like really old Judaism believes that it was multiple gods. Mm -hmm. Right. And then there's a, then there was a form of Judaism that came out that really is what transpired into Christianity of no, this monotheism and it's a single God. And there's, and then Jesus is to the one single God. And then you have the same thing happening over in Islam where it's like, no, you know, Muhammad in his bloodline through marriage and stuff had people in the descendant and that's where I'm the Supreme leader and I'm connected to the bloodline of Muhammad. So that's why I'm the Supreme leader. People don't like, break that shit down and realize like that's where we're living in a world of people believing in those kind of things. So when people say, well, when you talk about spirituality, um, you know, and the, oh, you talk about an angel or you talk about this, or you talk about channeling or you talk about fucking tarot cards or something like what we're crazy. <laughs> we're, we're, the, we're the crazy ones. These people got fucking full on countries based off like, that'd be like me being like, well, I have the best astrology. So I'm the head of the country, you know? That, like that, that's, that's what it is. Like that, that, that's where it's at. Well, I, I think, you know, I think like, we're yeah. getting, we're going to go to a point where, and I'm hearing more and more people talk about this ever since I mentioned it. I'm not saying I started it, but after I mentioned it, I've been hearing a lot more people talk about how astrology and, you know, numerology and spirituality is going to start becoming mainstream. <clears throat> going to start putting people in office who understand astrology. Like, I seriously think that's the world we're moving to. I mean, because that's the world that we've already lived in anyways, because all the, the bullshit, you know, the, the, the dark side has tried to use these things against us anyways. They've at least tried. I don't know how successful they were with it, but, you know, they tried to use astrology and numerology against us anyways. So, you know, I think we're going to be going into a world where it's, it's made more apparent that, you know, it's not... The, the thing that kills me is that... Like you were saying, oh, it's the devil, you know, like any, anything, because it goes all the way back to the ancient texts. This is, this is right. what I'm talking about when it, when it goes to, uh, the garden of Eden, how Enki and Enlil, right. you know, one brother was, I guess, if you could say good and the other one was bad. And the, the one brother was, was wanting to build just a slave race of slaves. And, and the other brother like kind of felt sorry for the humans. 
and kind of snuck in there and was like telling them, yo, you know, you're way more fucking powerful than that. Right. And was like awakening them. And then the other brother got pissed off at him and started telling him he's the devil because he was trying to awaken them. He was trying to right. enlighten them. So, so that's why they're getting God and the devil mixed and flip-flopped. And that, you know, rolled all the way up to today's day and age where anything that enlightens you is the devil. So any, anything right. that allows you to tap into a, to a higher power, your higher power, your higher self, is deemed the devil. It fucking, that snowballed all the way up in today's day and age. And that's what we got to put an end to, you know? Yeah, I mean, and the same things. It wasn't, it wasn't Eve as the first wife of Adam. It was Lilith, right? And um, you know what? She was like, I don't want part of this fucking show that I'm controlled in. And I, I don't want to be, that I'm built off the rib of some man. And I'm subservient in that kind of a way. So she fucking left. So then they replaced her with Eve, which is weird because if you get into Eve and you get into Nyx and Night and you get into the Greek mythology or you go, you, right? Like you, you start, that's where it's just like people are really, it's weird because you're right. It's like a Truman Show effect where it's like, if you're awakening and it's anything with enlightenment, it's the devil. Mm -hmm. It's like, what do you mean? You're not allowed to go out in the water and swim. You're not allowed to take your boat out there. Get back in there, Truman. Get back in there. No, that road's closed. You're not allowed to drive past that road. There's a tree down. There's an electricity fucking issue. There's a dead killer that went out that way. I, he starts noticing, right? That's what people are like. And what it is, is it, is it creates this fear of death instead of the ancient way of looking at death as the ultimate beautiful transcendence mm -hmm. to the next place. Where people, and that's the other thing with COVID that was so weird. It was just like the Catholic church in the early sixties finally allowed people to be cremated. Cause it was it, for in, in all the ancient texts, like you don't burn the body of a sacred human. Right. But I don't know what happened, but the Catholic church went, Oh yeah, you're okay to burn people now. Right. So, so some Pope just made a decision. It's just like, yeah, well, there's, I, I want better grave space for the people that are, have the money. I don't want all these people that have grave space. Yeah, mm -hmm. Burn them. Burn them. And that, what, what did you see in COVID? People weren't being allowed to be buried, right? Unless you really had a lot of money. They'd just be like, we, we got a fucking, got an incinerator going on. We don't even turn it off. So mm -hmm. boom, boom. We, they already automatically like prepare for that. And that, that's crazy that we're living in a world where people are just being incinerated. Just, whoosh, whoosh. oh, here's their ashes and here's the yearn. I feel like we're in a show of like, the, the, like you know, meet the Fockers or meet the parents, the first one where he fucking goes to dinner and he's like, it's my, it's my mom up there. It's my grandma. And then when he's yeah. fucking, he brings the champagne for all day, he pops it and fucking hits it and fucking <laughs> falls down and fucking the cat pisses and shits in it. Like, you know, <laughs> like, like, just, like that's the world we live in right now especially when it comes to the religious, because like King James, the King James Bible, that's the Bible that 90% of Christians today, they follow. Yeah. Prior to that was the Geneva Bible, which that was like when the printing press came out. And that's when they, oh my God, people could re read a fucking Bible in English. It was always in Latin and it was only controlled by the Catholic church. So that's why, you know, Martin Luther fucking did his thesis, put it on the fucking church and fucking woke people up like the pope is acting like he's in charge of everybody right that was that's what happened with the whole entire aspect of looking at the 1500s but the crazy part is before king james was queen elizabeth the first and john d the astrologer was her number one advisor he was the court astrologer but he was also the guy who created the idea of the british empire and he was the one who created the maps of what the world is today. Then on top of it, he advised astrology and that's where they had this new church of England because you know, Elizabeth was the daughter of King Henry the eighth who fucking left the Catholic church and created the church of England and fucking. So they kept that, but then they were pretty loose. And what was crazy was when James was going to become, he was the first one to bring together in a long period of time, Scotland and England. Elizabeth didn't have any heirs, right? So when King James came in, he wrote a book called Demonology, but when Elizabeth was queen, 
because he had this crazy fucking obsession with the wife that he was bestrode to, who was like out in like Sweden, Switzerland area. And he couldn't get any of his men to get on a boat because there was a storm and he blamed it on witches. He just like, I guess there's some witches that don't like me. So they fucking made the storms happen, right? So he wrote a book called Demonology and that's where you really start to take the old shit to his crazy idea. He was also gay, which is really weird because he writes and he has people translate in the King James Bible to be gay is wrong and all this kind of shit, right? When he's gay himself, that was the weirdest part about King James is that he actually was gay, right? Or I'd call him bisexual today. Dude was a psycho, huh? Right, he was a psycho. <laughs> and he also uh, is the reason why that the Mayflower left because he was so controlling on how you had to follow the religion that that's why the Mayflower left. And that's what got created the new world. So when I look at the history and the repeating, it was 400 years on 2020 of 1620 and the Mayflower leaving. When we talk about this new world or this new earth, it's going to be religion that causes it again. Because if you see it, it's already dogmatic enough in politics, right? Where I love, I, I lean more right. I definitely don't lean with the Republic or with the Democrats on a lot of things. The one thing I do lean with them with is the idea of, you know, let's get the religion out of the fucking government. Yeah. It was never meant to be there. It's not supposed to be there yeah. because that's what you hear, whether it's Trump all the way down the list. Now it's who's flexing a Christian cross. And if you're not, then you're kind of looked at as weird. Yeah. And it's getting to that point now to where it's like every other fucking post is about, well, they, they don't believe in that version of God. Right. And so that's, what's hard is like, well, I can't be a Republican and believe in the values of conservatism, but if I'm an astrologer, I'm already nixed into an automatic thinking that I'm a crazy liberal that's ready to go trans and fucking cut my dick off and fucking, <laughs> you know, get purple fucking put in my hair. Yeah. And that's where I'm like, that's where the religious aspect mixed with this crazy left wing shit. And that's what happened. Hitler. What did Hitler do? Hitler fucking saw the same shit, called out the trans. The first people he did, he went after was the trans. People forget about that because trans was happening in Germany. And so that's how, and then he used religion. And then what was weird is after he got the Jews out and he put them in camps and he put the astrologers in camps and he put the Gentiles and then he put the gays. What did he do next? He went to all the fucking churches and fucking used the Hitler youth, the, the, the Nazi youth to disrupt the churches to create the new Nazi church, the new Nazi version of Christianity. And people Neo don't Nazi. know about that. So not know. only was he getting rid of the Jews and the astrologers, and then he picked a couple of astrologers out of the jail and brought them up to his fucking Austrian fucking awesome lounge that he just sat up there and ran the whole country. He never was in Berlin except for events. But that's what was crazy is he used the Hitler youth to go into all the Christian fucking and disrupt them on purpose and force them to be SS style Nazi Christianity. Hmm. And then it was like, you need to have four children. And that was called the four quibbles. You need to have your quibbles. And then you're seeing it, and I've called this out. You start to see all the conservative Christians right now in the pol politics doing this whole, like, let me show pictures with as many kids as I have. That's what the Nazis did. So I understand, actually, sometimes when the left is like, this is looking too Nazi. I can see it from both sides of, like, how then on the right, you look at the left, and it's like, it's fucking communism over there. Mm -hmm. But what's happening is we're watching the same history happen again. And that's what I'm the most worried about is the right's going to get too Christian. The left's going to be continuing and thinking their communism is going to work. The right's going to win this war again, but then it's going to turn into fucking craziness because it's going to become hardcore. If you're not this, then you're going into that. You're going into that because look at you were making like these people were making kids trans. They were convincing kids. If you can convince them of Santa Claus, you can convince them to be a boy or girl. And then that's where it's like, if you're anything but this, then you're thrown into that and you're thrown into this. And that, that, that's what's scary to both sides to me. Not one side's not scary as much as they both are to me because they both are coming from the same two arms to shove us into something that we're all going to be having a quandary with. Well, I mean, as long you as know? people like me and you who kind of, I don't really want to say in the middle because I don't even float with that either. But for lack of a better phrase, who, who ride down the middle and see 
the good in both sides. As long as we still have a platform, yeah. and a voice, and we can put that message out there, and you know, get more. I don't want to say. I'm going to word this. It, you know, it, it, put the idea out there for more and more people to awaken to be able to use their discernment to take the good from the right, the good from the left, and blend them together and keep that awakening spreading like a wildfire. Then even if, uh, then I, I, I don't know. I don't really think the right could really win that war as long as people are awakening. Because like I said, in the, in the age that we're moving into, I think they're going to try that. And it's probably going to come pretty clamp, pretty damn close. But the awakening is spreading like a wildfire, you know, and I just don't think they're going to be able to get enough people to fall for it. I don't think so. I mean, I, I, I agree, but I know I might be, I don't want to sound like I'm being repetitive about this Nazi thing, but it's the same astrology and we're seeing it happen. I mean, even the whole Putin interview was about, we, we saw for the last four or five years in Ukraine, all the Nazis, right? Like it was insane. All the videos, just Nazis. And they, they literally wear Nazi uniforms in Ukraine. And there's a Nazi problem in Ukraine for sure. I'm not saying all Ukrainians are Nazi, but there's a problem with it there because of World War II. But what's really weird to me is like, okay, there was the idea of the Great Awakening with fucking the Nazi empire. Like people are finally starting to get it because the Nazis tried for years, right? Like Hitler wrote Mein Kampf when he was in prison in the 20s. And then fucking by the end of the 20s, there used to be like nine p parties. And the Nazi party, socialist Nazi party would always come in like sixth. Then it would be like at the beginning of the 30s. It got close to where then Hitler was able to convince and his party was able to convince all that were in power in that fucking old guard German fucking, the old fucking Weimar Republic guys, bring it to like, two to three to four parties so the nazi party can get more not the nazi party never even won the elect right didn't even get to the top so then instead of dealing with hitler anymore they just said let's just make him vice chancellor and we'll get rid of this problem let's get rid of the problem so the nazi party never won the fucking vote right they just won enough to where they made hitler the vice chancellor and then of course uh-oh Shit happened. The fucking Capitol building burned down and then fucking, then the chancellor died. And then that's when he called himself the Fuhrer. Just took over and changed it all. But they were all about this awakening, right? This spiritual like awakening enlightenment for this one race though. And again, it was under a Christian ideology. And that's the scariest part I see on the, 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 the conspiracy based right wing channels and affection now is like this you're coming awake and seeing what the liberals are doing which i agree with but i don't agree with it from a christian perspective of that it's all leading towards christianity because that's the same nazi shit that goes down and anybody who's not that you're gonna go into this place and then the way that they're doing the free palestine thing if you think about it whether it's going to be what you're going to throw all the people from israel and every jew back into a camp Right? And then is that going to, whose side? But it was Vivek Ramaswamy who really made me see this because he is Hindu. So when he was in Iowa during the caucuses, there was a bunch of Christian fucking Iowans out there who were like on panels asking him next to Nikki Haley and next to fucking Chris Christie and next to Ron DeSantis, can you explain what Hinduism is? And Instead of him being just so blunt and honest, which I think Hinduism is more closely related to anybody spiritual than anything, mm -hmm. he fucking tried to relate it to being a Christian in the same way, right? To be able to get the people to vote for him. So unless you're a Christian, you already have 70% of America is going to say no. We've never had a president that's not came out, including Obama, We've only had two Catholic presidents, which was JFK and Biden under the same Jupiter-Saturn conjunction. But everybody's always said they're Christian, except for Washington, who wasn't elected president um, traditionally, and he was a Freemason. Yeah, but there was also a movement against Freemasons in the early 1800s. It was called the you know, like uh, the no the no Freemason party, the get rid of the Freemasons, like, yeah. and they lost. 
But it's interesting that the country is actually not founded on Christianity. It's founded on the slabs of Mason that George Washington laid. And that correlates more in the old Masons, not the conspiracy of the new idea of Masons being the Illuminati that people like think is people doing the eye shit, all that shit. No, 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 no. The original fucking Masons saw the shit, knew what was going on and were the great awakening away from the religions that were fucking doing all the crimes. Right? So we're at a weird moment where now they've inverted and turned Masons into fucking Illuminati. And then they've turned churches into the good guys as they're having the Pope over the last five years do big tours to all these countries to apologize for the just 500,000 children that we raped and did or this 100,000 apology tour. It's been, and, and then this is going to be where, are we going to have a second Pope quit? Like the, it's been 500 something years since a qu Pope quit, right? So that's what happened. We got Francis because that's what happened. Benedict quit. That's not, a Pope dies, right? Right now, Pope Francis is talking about quitting. So there's something weird where the religious thing and the, uh, thank God that in our constitution, you have to separate, you know, all religion cannot be part of it. Church and state are not supposed to come together. But my fear is that there's the left-wing church state, which is this whole woke movement as a church. It's kind of like a Unitarian church. That's the same shit. You see it actually happening in churches where they put trans and all that shit in there. And they try and push that kind of weird shit. And then you see it on the right wing, them try to act like it, but then they're having even Vivek Ramaswamy having to like, have him shift his Hinduism into making it look like he, and have him say God, the way that he has to say it from a Christian perspective, so people don't catch it quick enough. So that's how you know that there's a danger factor there right now. Well, on I both mean, sides. The biggest thing is now what we're going through, uh, everybody is going to have access to information. I think that's the biggest thing. Like back in the day, you know, during, you know, Nazi Germany and all that, you got to think, I know that that's right around the year my grandpa was born, you know, and back then, what did they have? Maybe a radio, maybe you turn it on right. and it's, they just, all you hear is what they want to tell you through one radio station. I think, I don't even think they had TVs back then. Maybe No, they didn't. Yeah. So like now we got these things. <laughs> like right. I said, I, I think, and I could be wrong, and I'll gladly take it on the chin if I am wrong, but I, I, I strongly believe they're going to throw a big shit show and you're going to have access to all the fucking information so that the humans, yeah, there will probably be some people who fall, get sucked into these stupid traps on the right and on the left, but they're going to run their course. That's one thing I've been seeing over the past few years <clears throat> is these little trends, they run their course. You know, like the little... Uh, the the let's see what did they start out with the race the race wars you know white cop kills a black guy that runs its course and then people got sick of it now the race war isn't working anymore right. so then they went to the the gay rights or whatever you know and then and then everybody were all up in arms about that and then it ran its course then the trans thing you know was the latest one and everybody was all up in arms about trans rights and and then that ran its course and people are getting tired of it so they're letting these things run their course until people see how fucking stupid it is and then they get tired of it so that's kind of what i'm thinking is probably going to start happening over the next year or so is that yeah you're right there's probably going to be a lot of that crazy right wing shit crazy left wing shit and then it's going to run its course with access to all this information people are going to be like this is fucking stupid or what if, and I believe you, and I agree with you, but I think that access of information is what's helped because whether it was COVID or whether it's all this crazy shit happening, you know, there's plenty of it. But the idea of a cyber attack, let's say it takes out all the phones, just the phones. Like, let's say they go, you know what? I don't know what happened. Some country has taken out all the phones. So guess what? All I see is just groups of people outside their house, one big screen, like in a city, and everybody go in to drive together because mm -hmm. they can't use their phone anymore. The TVs are down, like cables down. And then all the information is just <clears throat> one thing. This is what happened. Are we going to all believe that the one screen we're all going to have to watch on an emergency broadcast is what really is happening? I mean, I think if the bad guys were in control. You know what I'm happen. talking about? Yeah. I'm, I'm sure if, if the dark would have won, that's what the dark would do. 
But I don't believe that, at least I'm not going to a timeline right. where the dark wins. I mean, I'm sure maybe that's on some other timeline somewhere, but, right. you know, absolutely. That's exactly what they would do. On That's what the dark side would do. Right. I, I don't I don't think it's going to happen that way. It could. I, I hope wrong, not. I, yeah, and I, I agree. I, I, I mean, but, I, but I, 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 that could be the last red pill moment, right? Yeah. Like, like that could be the ultimate, like exposing that there is the dark. So nobody has questions that at that extreme level to where it's like, okay, we're all forced to watch one screen at the same time. Or the only thing that works would be an emergency broadcast, but the phones don't work. The internet doesn't work. Right. Like if, if that happened, which is sad because a lot of people on the like QAnon world and Trump, they, they, they keep saying that's going to happen. And I'm like, that actually would make me very hesitant to even follow what you guys say, because that would be extreme authoritarianism for us to verify or to be able to talk around and just trust, trust the fucking trust the plan. Because at the end of the day, if, you, if, if that, that's what, that's what Hitler said, trust the plan, like tr tr trust me, I'm going to do it all. I got it all. So I can understand where left people look at Trump that way, or I can see it from other areas where the actual things that are authoritarian in the form of Nazism is actually the, what the left wing's doing. They just don't surround it around a person. They surrounded around their whole party like they did with slavery in the same transit we're in too. So, and then they're the ones who wanted everybody locked up and they're the ones who wanted everybody to be an essential worker for their own slavery that they wanted, that they were able to pay and suppress which jobs can work and which ones can, right? Like that's all. So it's like both sides are playing that Nazi aspect in their own way. That's what's scary is if you see them try to come together fully, like on a ticket. And it's going to look like, well, that's our solution to peace. It's like, oh, that's bringing the party to, right? And I think that's what's weird. We're about to find out from RFK in the next 10 days who his vice president is. He just announced that. Trump's flirting with who his VP pick is going to be right now because he has, he has Super Tuesday coming up, South Carolina and all these states, and that's going to kick Nikki Haley out. So then he'll announce his VP here soon. And then we have Biden who hasn't really come out yet. And I, it looks like Biden's not going to be on the ticket. It looks like a DNC swap, which is not abnormal. That actually happened in 1856 with, with Pierce being the president and going to the convention. And then they swapped him out for Buchanan. And he was like, what? So that's where... It, that's where it's going to get really weird because that's that's that that it's going to be hard to tell. And then we have the most elections around the world of all time in this year, twenty twenty four. So, like the WHO situation, like that's crazy with the treaty. That even like that by itself is a kind of daunting, scary moment in May that's coming. And what sucks is none of the elections come till after that treaty. So. If anything, that treaty, if it does pass, would be something that would cause the elections to be in the right way. But, you know, it's like you can't get everything that you want in life. And that's what's going to be hard is every pill I think we're going to have to take is going to have a bitterness at some point. It's just about what's the better pill to take here that's better through this time and remembering the good stuff on the other side and not falling for the shit that you can't even see right now. And if you, if you're at a point where you can't see it right now, or you know, somebody you can't like, if their eyes are closed, you're not going to be able to fucking juke them or get their attention. Like you're going to have to wait till they open their eyes. And then when it's open, like keep fucking showing them the way and they'll, they'll wake up, but don't force somebody out of their pod, <laughs> you know, it never ends up good. <clears throat> yeah. It's going to be a fun year though. Can't wait. I'm getting anxious. I'm getting antsy. Well, and I, especially because we're going to be out in Texas during that total solar eclipse at quite an event, the solar activation event. We're doing it with Team Light. And I'm stoked, dude, because I feel like that's the moment when it's just going to be like, holy shit. Yep, I'm stoked. I'm pumped. It's, it's truly activating America. It's going to be the last one for over 20 years. And it's, it's happening through Texas. And we're going to be right where it's like at its darkest and its peak. Mm -hmm. And it's cheap tickets, 333 bucks. I think we both have discount codes too on it. Like yeah. what's yours? Yours is rich 10 I or something. It's rich or? 10. Yeah. And mine's um, the Leo King 10. So 
They're only 330 bucks. Teamlight.com forward slash events. Teamlightstore.com. Or teamlightstore.com forward slash events yep. with Rion and all the Team Light and so many other amazing people. And it's been awesome. Rion on Team Light on Unite the Collective on his YouTube has been putting out interviews. We've done our interviews, all the other speakers. And we're really doing something that's never been done. It's not a traditional convention uh, with a, I mean, it's already not traditional because there's a total solar, a total solar eclipse happening uh-huh. during it, but it's much more. Let's all get together and do the light work and have fun and more. I, I don't know if you could describe it as more like open and not so formally uh, fake. Yeah. Like that's a good way to put it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, where it's like much more, Hey, it's about everybody wanting to have the, the good energy. And if something's off on the energy, that's going to be an important thing for the whole event to pay attention to yeah. instead of just like act like something weird's going on and not, <laughs> you know, yeah. like, like that's kind of a weird thing, but that, that, that's why you know, these are the cool kind of new events of the future. And I feel like these are the kind of events that are part of the new awakening and the new world of how to be, we just go create it, but you got to do it. You got to yeah. be part of it. And nobody being told what they can and can't talk about. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's the biggest thing. Cause Rion was like, just say what you want. Yeah. Whatever you, you do your thing. Right. You can film it and put it on whatever network you want. Right. Just do the damn thing, you know, and that's that's it's what all, I like. Fucking that's freedom. Exactly. You know? So So that's why we'd love to see you all out there. It's already fucking so many people coming, but there are still tickets and good luck finding other places to go watch the total solar eclipse in America. If you go up and down the coast, like or up and down the, the line of it, it's yeah. you know, there's nobody doing a cool ass event, number one, and number two, uh, with light work and awesome people, and we've got like the coolest venue in the whole world mm-hmm. on a river. It'd be badass. Oh yeah, I'm stoked. A- April seventh and eighth, and um, we'll see how the show gets even crazier by then. Oh yeah, man. All right, see you all in the next one. Make sure you follow us. We have a Facebook page which keeps blowing up thanks to you all, uh, the Awakening Experience, and then of course you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, all that with our own channels and our YouTubes too. Links are down below. Much love. See you on the next one. Peace.